Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your general love read for November 19th through the 26th. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So my fellow Geminians, when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I got was International Players Anthem. Um, that is by UGK featuring Outcast. So in that group, we have a Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Gemini. You got a lot of different people. You got four different signs there, right? And if you think about an international players holiday, players, they like to keep the options open. So somebody may have been keeping the options open, but if you know that song, literally they're talking about, okay, it's time for me to put my pimp cane down. It's time for me to settle down. And it's interesting because when I stopped at the, you know, once I was finished um, circulating the cards, at the bottom of the deck, you have the death card. That's the ending. At the very back of the deck, you have the ace of pentacles. Somebody is ready to end their player ways and settle down. Earthy energy is always about being settled down, setting roots and things like that. And that's the ace. And aces, all aces are a brand new star. So somebody's ready to end one, you know, it's transformation, right? The death card is transformation, like ending one phase and going into another one. Somebody's ready to settle down. Now, this could be someone that you're dealing with, or this could be you, okay? Because again, I did say one of the members of Outcast, Andre 3000, happens to be a Gemini son. So it could be you. It could be you. And you could be feeling like, you know, I'm over it. I, what I got when I was meditating over the energy is that somebody's whole phase, <laughs> a whole phase is over. And and I'm being sarcastic because it doesn't have to be that you just out to sleep with everybody. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, somebody is no longer wanting to have many options. They're ready to settle down. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. So, let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the lover's card. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Gemini, someone rise to Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck. I told y'all, somebody ready to put their damn pimp cane down. They're turning their back on the game, and they're going towards one person specifically. Could be dealing with fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or you can have those placements in your chart. Also, some of you guys could be leaving Scorpio season, okay? Right? Because we just seen the death card. That is Scorpio. Could be leaving Scorpio season, going into Sag season, which is up next, okay? Ready to choose one person. If you notice, he's in between these two birds, so there could be two options for somebody. Again, if it's not you, it could be this person. Somebody, somebody is going to make a decision between just one person here. I'm telling you, okay? So let's go ahead and shuffle a bit. Sun card, somebody's made a decision, okay? Somebody has made a decision. Leo here with the sun card. Could be dealing with someone that has strong Leo in their chart. Yeah, somebody's made a decision. <laughs> judgment. Somebody's made a judgment call. You are a person of interest or somebody in the situation, kind of first, middle, or last initial of CGM. W O J X or T. I just heard somebody's nickname could be Nikki or somebody's name is Nikki. Nick Nick and Nicholas as well. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Somebody wants stability. King of Pentacles. That's the most stable king in the whole entire deck. Male or female, put it where it applies. And we're gonna change from top to bottom. We're gonna get into it. Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. <laughs> and it's interesting because in the video for international um Players Anthem, they're saying, don't do it. Like, you know, his boys were telling him, like, don't do it. Because it was a video of them going, getting ready to walk down the aisle. And his friends was like, don't do it. Like, no, no, no. Don't make that move. Some Somebody, I'm telling you, because you do have this fiery energy and sad season is up next. Somebody could be telling their friends, like, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to, you know, put on a, put a ring on it. And, and people are giving this person some flack. They, they're giving a person a hard time here. And they're saying, like, no, nah, don't do it. That's not what's up. So let's see. I'm gonna go through the deck until we get the lovers. And then the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Again, for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus individuals. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna have friends or family or somebody who's not gonna be, <laughs> be very supportive of this for one reason or another. It could be that it's a person that people know and this person has a bad reputation or they just don't feel like you're ready. I just feel like there's people who feel like they have the right to kind of insert their opinion about your life. So here's your energy and there you are, okay? None other than yourself, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Um, so there's you. Then you have the lovers and then behind it, I told y'all somebody. So <laughs> it could have been you guys, okay? It could have been you guys. I'm going to tell you why. You got the Seven of Cups. This is keeping your options open. 
have you many options it's something to every single cup so yeah at one point you're in your head like do i really want to settle down do i really want to you know have the old ball and chain like locked up you know you could be feeling like that yeah again somebody had options many options but i feel like a decision is going to be made before scorpio season wraps up if you're dealing with a water sign, it's also going to be that the water sign had many options also. So Cancer might see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Bottom of the deck, you got the King of Pentacles. Second time, you got the King of Pentacles. Somebody's ready for stability, okay? Somebody's ready to settle down. Going from the King of Swords, that could be flighty, to the King of Pentacles. Somebody's ready Somebody's ready for stability here. It's part of the deck, Three of Cups. I'm telling you, for a lot of y'all, you have friends and family who have so many opinions about what it is you're doing, okay? And then they're... I'm kind of getting like you got friends who are single and they're like, okay, if you, you know, kind of, I don't know why I'm getting the wood. In the movie, The Wood, like they were not happy that he was going to get married. And when he was talking about like, yeah, when I told you guys I want to marry her, then you was like, you breaking up the group, you breaking up the gang. You know, he they were kind of giving him a hard time. And it's like people could be talking shit. Some friends, it's like they don't want somebody to settle down because they know the connection is going to be different. The friendship is going to be different because now this person is going to be dedicated to that union. So I'm getting something like that. I'm getting the wood. Somebody could stay near the woods, like some type of walking trail. Somebody could have went to a school that has wood in it. I went to Thornwood. I'm a Gemini. So I, um, somebody could stay on Wood Street or something to that nature. Something with wood in it. Somebody's nickname could be Woody. Somebody's last name could be Woodson. Or Woods. Let's get a clarifier for the, <laughs> the magician. Somebody's changing a leaf, turning a, you know, you guys are changing. This is Gemini and also Virgo. So for a lot of you guys, I definitely feel like it could be you. Now, again, when I was saying the whole face thing, I, I was being silly and being sarcastic. Even if it wasn't that you were just out here sleeping with everybody or just keeping your options open, which we kind of do got here. It could also be that some of you all were like, you know what? I just don't want to settle down because I, I want to be free all the time. The magician is free to do whatever the fuck they want to because they have... They possess the gifts of every single element, earth, air, fire, and water. So it's like, I don't want to stifle myself and hold myself back is what I'm getting because somebody wants to keep all the options open because this is wide open here. But I feel like there could be a shift in the dynamic. Again, it, it doesn't have to be you, but it could be. It could be the person that you're dealing with, but you know. And even if you're single, it could also be that now you're ready to turn a leaf and you're ready to be in a relationship. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants stability and longevity. They want to build a family structure. That's what I'm getting from. I'm telling you. That's what I keep getting. I keep getting that. Somebody's ready to settle down. All that earthy energy. Pentacles, that's like, let's let's set some roots here. Let's build a family. Let's start some things. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Swords. Clear, okay. Again. Okay. A lot of you guys are getting ready to manifest a relationship and then... I'm getting another message, okay, with this. Some of you guys are ready to manifest a new relationship or a new life. And then you may have friends that are thinking that you're rushing into it too fast. So that's your energy. Both of these are your energy. And I know it has to do with love because right here by his ear, that's a heart. I'm going to say again, some of you guys could also have a friend that has strong air in their chart also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And they could be saying, like, I want you guys to look at that video. Like, in the video, he says, don't do it. And, then, and his friend's like, no, don't walk down the aisle. Don't do it. And that's what I'm getting here. Like somebody said, don't do it. You're rushing into this. Don't don't jump into this too quick. That's definitely what I'm getting here for a lot of you all. So there, there's a naysayer in this situation, but I feel like you all felt like you have manifested the like the best relationship for you. You've manifested a connection that you want to, you know, secure the union. Because I always say, you guys, kings and queens, they are always in a long-term union. They're always in a long-term relationship. So I have a king here. It's like, it's, it's, this is somebody who's ready to settle down. They're trying to manifest their, their perfect partnership or whatever, you know, resonates for them as perfect. But you may have people feeling like you're jumping into things too quickly. You're not thinking rationally. Because the seven of cups could be being scattered and all over the place. Because there's literally something in every single cup. So somebody, you know, you can have people who think that you're jumping into things too fast. Could be a water sign that thinks you're jumping into things too fast. Or you may have announced in Scorpio season that you were engaged or you were, like, if you're posting things on social media, you could be saying, like, I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to settle down. I just feel like there's naysayers. And people speaking negatively, like, man, marriage ain't nothing, but, like, it's going to hold you back. It's going to make you feel stuck. It's going to make you be bound, you know. Or that's how you could have been thinking in the past. But I feel like there's a shift there. There's a shift. 
Somebody sees love and relationships completely different. Transformation for sure. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.